All right, here's the V200E. I'm going to show you how to change this thing from direct acting to reverse acting. All right, after removing the cover, go ahead and pull up the visual indicator. It comes off pretty easily just wiggling it up, just a little circlip holding it. Next, we want to loosen the jam screw on the cam securing nut right here. Okay, now that I've backed this screw up a quarter turn and I've already broken this loose with a little crescent wrench, we can just unthread this, pull it off, set it aside, and now our cam here, the 0 to 100% D 90 degree linear, all we want to do is pull this up, and it might be a little spring loaded action going on, and we just want to rotate it over so we can have reverse action. The little Hershey Kiss thing right there is supposed to sit right on that lobe or race that this screw is holding down. And it's important to make sure we get the cam all the way flush on the shaft so that that lobe is riding on this race. And then we'll put our nut on there. Secure it down with a adjustable wrench or a crescent wrench of sorts and then secure the nut in place with a Phillips head screwdriver. It's important to make note that now your open position will be controlled with a 4 milliamp signal and your closed position because this will travel on an increase of signal because it's reverse acting uh, 20 milliamps will now be your full clockwise position uh, and if you guys need that to be opposite your DCS or PLC can be programmed in that manner. All right.